In this problem, we're going to learn how to calculate the setting on a chlorinator to deal with a filamentous bacteria problem going into the aeration basin. Well, let's go to the board and take a look and see how to solve this problem. Well, the problem reads, in an attempt to correct a filamentous growth in an activated sludge process, you want to inject chlorine into the RAS flow stream at a dose of 2.5 pounds of chlorine per 1,000 pounds of return activated sludge suspended solids. Show the calculations to find the proper chlorinator feed setting in pounds of chlorine per day, given the following information. Well, they want us to calculate how much chlorine to add to deal with these filaments that are causing a problem in our activated sludge system. Well, here they listed all the information for us, so we don't need to pull out the numbers and write our known and unknown information like we normally do, but we'll just, we'll just work with them. But let's take note, they want us to add two and a half pounds of chlorine for every thousand pounds of return activated sludge. So we first need to calculate our pounds per day of return activated sludge or our RAS flow. So to do that, we calculate pounds per day by taking our RAS flow times our RAS concentration in milligrams per liter times 8.34. We'll notice the RAS flow is 3.3 million gallons per day and our RAS concentration is 8,500 milligrams per liter. So using those numbers, we can plug that into our pounds formula and we find that we have 233,937 pounds per day. So that's how many pounds per day of return activated sludge we're returning. Well now, we want to add two and a half pounds for every thousand pounds per day of return flow. So using this as our basis, we're basically going to take our 233,937 pounds per day and multiply it by the 2.5 pounds of chlorine per 1,000 pounds per day of RAS. So basically we just multiply across and divide by what's on the bottom and we come up with 585 pounds per day of chlorine. And that, my friend, is how this problem is solved.